out to open up some of his outdoor space to diners, a move he says will likely drive more business to his restaurants, but potentially from areas where the number of coronavirus cases are uncomfortably high. Even if he said tomorrow you could open everything back up, I don't think I would do it immediately. We're not flipping a light switch. Governor Northam says on any given day, 70% of the Commonwealth's positive cases are from Northern Virginia. Sean says he's already concerned about the customers who aren't taking this seriously and fears a staff member will get infected or another increase in cases and therefore back to tight restrictions. For now, he says phase zero is working. Everybody's kind of adapted to uh, this new way and we've kind of gotten into a groove. I'm Lorenzo Hall. WUSA 9. Ever been to the Inn at Little Washington? It's a lovely restaurant in Rappahannock County, worth the drive. The chef hopes to open in a few weeks, but if you go, you might find some patrons at the next table a little stiff. Mannequins. If the chef can only go to 50% capacity, this is how he plans to fill the place. Half human, half Ken and Barbie. Do not ask them to pass the great poupon. That's not going to happen. Missing any shoes? Well, don't blame Rover. It's the Fox's fault. See all those shoes swiped from their owner's front porches by some sly foxes and discovered outside foxholes near the historic Blenheim farmhouse in Fairfax. It turns out foxes love to play with our shoes. Who knew? Now, your WUSA 9 weather forecast, sponsored by Cox. It's enough to keep my shoes out of Boomer's mouth. I don't even want to think about a fox getting a hold of my shoes, Topper. I know. Peaches is the same way. But the good news <laughs> and about Boomer, Peaches really doesn't destroy them. She just runs around. Oh. Th that's all. She's sweet. We had a lab, they'd be destroyed and eaten. <laughs> all right, Leslie, guess what? One more frost advisory, and then we're going to turn the corner. It's going to feel like May as we get into the latter part of the week. But in the meantime, we have a frost advisory essentially for folks in upper Montgomery County and also off to the west. But first things first, I want to talk about how I feel May has been more like March. Now, March was the fifth warmest March on record. So stay with me here. We're going to graph the number of days in the 50s, 60s, and 70s for the first 12 days of May and also March. And it is eerily similar. So far, we have had uh, three days in the 50s the first tw out of the first 12. And March, well, we had five days in the 50s out of the first 12. 60s, very close. We've had six, uh, five in March. And 70s, very close. We've had three so far in May, but we had two days in the 70s out of the first 12 days in March. That is crazy. The good news is I think the pattern is going to change as we get into the latter part of the week. But one more cold night. Upper Montgomery County, Loudoun County, West, even down to Manassas and even into Fredericksburg, uh, around, uh, actually down I-95 South and West, also a frost advisory. We have clear skies, we have calm winds and low humidity. It's pretty much a perfect recipe, but it leads to a fantastic Wednesday. After a cold start, fantastic, pure sun and not much wind. Warmer Thursday and then showers and storms Friday, Saturday and Sunday, but look, we're in the 80s. Upper 60s tomorrow, 70 on Thursday, low 80s on Friday. Only reason I'm not going 80 on Saturday is just because more clouds and more showers. Same air mass, though. And then Sunday should be 84. We're watching a backdoor front, which could knock it back into the 70s. Right now, I think the front will stay north of us, maybe Baltimore northward. So for tomorrow morning, these numbers are a little high. I think 45, 44 downtown is good, but I think places like Leesburg and Frederick and Etchison and Damascus, more like 32, 33, 34 to start. And then by, you know, mid-morning, we'll all be around 50. Even Hagerstown will be around 50. Bowie about 53 at 9 o'clock. Gorgeous by lunchtime. Uh, temperatures in the low 60s. You talk about a perfect day tomorrow to run or cycle. I mean, you could do it morning, noon, or night and not be terribly uncomfortable. By the time we get into the evening, temperatures in the 60s, but again, not that humid and just a gorgeous, gorgeous day. 67 and 6 o'clock downtown, even 65 in Hagerstown and 68, almost 70 in Fredericksburg. We'll be close to 70 tomorrow. Uh, tomorrow night at this time, milder. Winds turn more south-southeast. Temperatures in the 50s across the board this time tomorrow. Clouds will roll in uh, late tomorrow night. That will set the stage for a, uh, a kind of a showery Thursday. We're monitoring Thursday for a yellow weather alert. Gorgeous tomorrow, 70 Thursday, and we'll monitor Friday for a yellow weather alert. Low 80s as well. Again,